Oh, I love summertime. Can film when it's dinner time and it's still light out. Beautiful. I'm surprised my lips aren't more chapped. I just tried on 10, 10 different lipsticks. That's a lot of lipstick to put on one person in the course of an hour. Hello everyone! I am here, as promised, to talk to you guys about the Maybelline Color Blurs. I don't know why I'm pointing at you. You know you're there. I know you're there. Let's continue. And I was talking to you guys in my uh, Ulta haul update, and I asked you guys if you wanted me to do a buy or buy, as in buy or buy, of the Maybelline Color Blur lip pencils, which are new, and at least they're new in Canada. I think they're new everywhere, right? Do some hand swatches, some lip swatches, show you what they look like when they're blurred out versus full color, all that kind of good stuff, and then share with you guys sort of my overall thoughts on the product. So I'm gonna go through the product itself, the price point formula, colors, my favorite colors, my least favorite colors, and overall what I thought about the product in general. And as you guys know from my buyer buys, I'm going to be rating them using emojis. Why not make reviews a little bit more fun, right? Right. I think I'm gonna do the uh, cyclone emoji, also known as the hurricane, or perhaps tornado, or just swirl in general. Get it? Because they're like, their color blurs, and like a tornado is like blurry. I don't know, <laughs> made sense in my head when I chose it. Also, before I get started, just in terms of full transparency, these were sent to me. Oftentimes, a lot of YouTubers will get products sent to them, just new releases and things like that. I was not paid to talk about this. They did not tell me to talk about this. This is all my own personal opinion. Because I want to make sure that the product is really good. And if it sucks, I'm going to tell you. Thought I would throw that out there first before we got started just in case you wanted to know. Before I do the whole like review thing, I want to share with you guys all the swatches, so I'm gonna start with that, and then we're gonna get into the review, so let's do this. You're back. Hopefully my swatching was okay. When you have to apply a lot of lipstick all at once, sometimes the lines get a little blurry. So I'm sorry if my lipstick application wasn't perfect. First of all, the product in general. So it is the uh, Color Blur Drama Matte Pencil. So the whole premise behind this product is that it is a matte lip pencil with lots of vibrant color on one end and on the other end is sort of this smudgy, stick thing, so you can either apply it as sort of a full coverage, cul cul culverage, that's not a word, full coverage, or you can apply it sort of as a blur, so you apply it to the center of the lip and then blur it out with the smudgy thing. In terms of the overall product in general, I'll start with the pros. Um, it was very, very easy to apply because it is a, um, a pencil format. It just makes it very easy to line the lips if you want or apply it very uh, deliberately to the center of the lips. So that is great. It's very highly pigmented. You have a lot of great saturation um, in the color itself when you apply it to the lips. And the smudger is really good too. It doesn't erase the color. I mean, obviously you're going to get a little bit of color on the lip smudgy thing, but it's not like, a, I was thinking it was going to be like a sponge, in which case it would just soak up the color, but it doesn't. It literally blurs it out. It's, it blends it out into the uh, outer crevasses of your lips, like this. Now for cons, the one thing I will say about just the product, not getting into like formula, colors, all that stuff, um, this twisty thing was a little confusing at first, which maybe isn't for a normal human being. Like it's not even this, 
twists, it's the, the smudgy stick twists, um, and you have to make sure that you twist it back down in between uses, just because I don't know how far away the uh, end of the lid is from the top, if that makes sense. So you, you will oftentimes just like cram it into the top of the lid and smush it severely. So rating just the product, like the packaging in general, um, I would say that it is a good solid four cyclone tornado weather storm things out of five which makes it um, a fairly decent sized storm. A good solid one that has some nice shape to it and looks pretty from a distance where it's not hurting anyone and just people can chase it. What are they called? Storm chasers? They can like look at it in like a field or something. For the price point, it's, I'm not even gonna really give a rating system for this cause that's entirely dependent on your own personal preference really, I think for this particular one. It, ranges between 10 and 12 dollars per stick. It's within the range I think for most of the lip products that are like the L'Oreal's, Maybelline's, CoverGirl's kind of thing. Um, so I think that's fairly decent and um, yeah. Oh. Now onto the formula. The formula I really like. It is very, very easy to apply, very creamy texture. Um, it blends onto the lips really smoothly. It smudges out really nicely. It doesn't dry too fast either. So if you put it on the center of your lips to do the whole blur thing, you don't have to worry about it like drying this like really severe line that you can't blur out really easily. The creaminess I will say I also really like because it's a very matte finish so it's not overly drying on the lips either. Like I can feel it like, I feel it on the lips, but it feels like a lipstick. It doesn't feel like that um, stain matte feel where you're just like, oh, my lips are so dry. I need lip gloss or something on this. In terms of cons, they're not overly long wearing, which is kind of annoying. So anytime you drink or eat something, it is going to wear off. For the really dark ones, like the Plum Please one, when I was applying it, you kind of have to be careful because when it overlaps in certain areas, it becomes very dark. And then you have to kind of rub your lips together in order to make sure that the color is consistent, if that makes sense. But when you're wearing it throughout the day, it does kind of wear off kind of funny. Um, so you kind of have to keep that in mind, which is kind of unfortunate. So for formula, I'm gonna give this a strong three and a half, four-ish. I can't decide because I really, really like the fact that it's creamy when it's a matte. Like that's such a very difficult thing to find. So it's not, you don't get that weird dry texture on your lips, which I absolutely hate with the stains. But at the same time, it's not really long lasting and you kind of need it to be long lasting if you're gonna wear some of these colors, especially some of the darker colors, um, at least a little bit so that it's gonna last on your lips at least through one meal so you have time to like reapply it and you're not worried about it like wearing off funny or like streaking on your face, you know? Now on to colors! So I think overall they had a really good selection. Like that's like a good like varieta of colors. You know, you have your your really deep colors like Plum Please. You have like I'm Blushing, which is more of a neutral tone. Um, you have a, something that's like a, a super vibrant, fun color like this um, Pink Insanity. Like just a lot of different options. So I really like that. Five tornadoes out of five for color selection. It's like the hurricane that took over Wizard of Oz. Like it takes you to a whole different like a Narnia world thing of golden brick writ, brick road thing. I don't know what I'm talking about. I have not seen that movie in years. Or I, what was it? Was it a hurricane? Was it a tornado? I don't even remember. Now on to my favorites and least favorites. So I will talk about my favorite colors first um, and then I'll get into least favorites. So these three are my favorite. I will show them up on the screen um, so you guys can see them at the same time. But I really loved I'm Blushing. Really pretty neutrally like a natural pink, um, but still you get that pop on your lips, which is really, really pretty and looks great as um, sort of that blurred tone thing too. Um, My My Magenta, which I talked about in the Ulta haul, and I just I really love this color. It's a really pretty great color for fall coming up. And then the other one is uh, Berry Misbehaved. This color is just so rich and beautiful. It's not the, the normal berry tones that I would nor or at least the, the color that I would normally think of when I think of berry tones. And for berry tones, I think more along this line, not this. I actually have it on my lips right now paired with Pink Insanity. So in case you were wondering if they blend well together, they do. For colors that were like, mm, I wasn't like super excited about them. One of them is I like to move it. I just found that the cut, like there wasn't much color to it. I mean, it, it is very natural toned, so it's very pretty. Like 
it looks nice if I'm gonna pay 10 to 12 dollars for a lip color and do like the whole blur thing like I want something that's actually gonna like show up on my lips I don't know and then the other one while I love the color as you can see super bold lip for fall I think that would look stunning um, I just ugh, the, the formula wasn't there for me I found that it caught a little bit patchy it didn't wear off really nicely throughout the day um, and that was kind of I didn't really love that about this particular one um, so that's kind of like a I hate it when you find one when you're like you love the color but then it doesn't wear well and you're like ah oh did I even explain what color this was this is um, plum please now for my overall rating I want to give this line a total of drum roll four tornadoes out of five the formula is beautiful I think the smudgy stick is really cool and unique I think the color looks really cool when you apply it sort of as a smudge stain look the matte with the cream me is really nice I think the color variety is really nice and just overall I really really love this whole lineup so I highly highly recommend it go and check it out guys it is in Canada it is in the States not sure about where anywhere else but like if you've seen it in your country that is not of the two that I mentioned let me know in the comments below so other people can go and look for them as well and if you guys have any of them let me know what one is your favorite or maybe your least favorite what you guys think of the line and let me know what buy or buy you guys want me to do next I hope Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Love you girls. Mwah.